What's going on guys, Fix here. Hope you guys are having a great day today. But today guys, gonna be playing some Black Ops 3. Not that long ago, Treyarch actually just held like a Black Ops 4 live stream. They gave out some pretty useful information. Not much useful information, but you know, pretty useful information. It was things that I kind of expected. Like, you know, obviously the things I didn't expect them to talk about, they didn't talk about it. They didn't talk about Blackout. They didn't even mention anything about Blackout. They didn't give us any information about a beta. They just told us that Black Ops 4 was gonna be playable at E3. Which, unfortunately, I'm not going because I live nowhere near California, so I can't even go there even if I wanted to. And, you know, usually when they do announce, like, a beta for Call of Duty, they do announce it at E3, so that's when I am expecting the beta date to be announced. But, uh, do I think the beta is gonna be in July or August or September? I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the beta released in... July, that's just what I think. And you know what? To be honest, I can't see the beta coming out in August either. So July, I think, is probably like the perfect time they would release the beta. So nine multiplayer maps already have been confirmed for Black Ops 4. Already four of them are way better than the ones in COD World War II. I'm going to let you guys know because four multiplayer maps are going to be coming to Black Ops 4. They are remastered maps from the previous Black Ops game. Let me tell you guys something. The maps that are being remastered for Black Ops 4... I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be happy about it because I am very, very happy about it. And I'm going to tell you guys, the first map that's coming to Black Ops 4 that's remastered, and I've been asking for this map to get remastered for such a long time, Slums. Slums is coming back to Black Ops 4. I am the biggest fan for Slums. I thought Slums has to be at least a top 5 map in Call of Duty history. Slums my favorite map ever bro that was like the best map in black ops 2 bro i loved slums so slums is coming back to black ops 4 very excited about that the next map jungle i love jungle jungle and black ops 1 open map you can call on all your score streaks your score streaks did work on jungle so jungle is another remaster map coming to black ops 4 the next one firing range i love firing range from black ops 2 it was a great map had such a good flow to it and then the last map summit which you know, I like Summit, but to be honest, I would have liked to see a different map get remastered. Something like Castle from World at War, I would have loved to see that get remastered. But Summit, it's a pretty good map. Like, it's decent. But the four remastered maps, those are really, really good maps all in all, guys. You know, I honestly, I really don't care that they're remastered as long as they're good maps, right? As long as they have good maps in Black Ops 4, I, that's all I really care about. My goodness. I just want to add something. This whole team is just getting destroyed. We're 26 and 0. Then they obviously announced another playable map. There's a new map that's coming to Black Ops 4. It's called Frequency. And this map is said to be a very small map. It's going to be very chaotic. But Black Ops 4, so far, it sounds like map-wise, it sounds like the maps are going to be amazing in this game. So I can't wait for Black Ops 4, man. Like, everybody I saw in the chat, you know, everybody was ripping on Black Ops 4 for having, like, you know, remastered maps. But... These are good rematch maps. Not like they're really bad remastered maps. These are some really, really good rematch maps. I mean, you cannot really mess up a game if you got slums in it, okay? Like, the game's got to be pretty bad if you got to mess it up with slums. I don't know how you can mess up a game that has slums in it. So already, and those are just maps we know about. Who knows? There are going to be way more maps. I mean, the rumor was said that Black Ops 4 is going to have altogether 17 maps, so... Already, like, the maps that were playable at the Black Ops 4 reveal trailer, and then the four remastered maps that are coming to Black Ops 4, I mean, these maps all look great, honestly. They really, really do look like they're all good maps. So, already, to start off with, nine maps that are going to be coming to Black Ops 4, they already look great, already. Like I keep saying, guys, already better than COD World War 2, man. Like, COD World War 2... Nine multiplayer maps, and they were all map, and they were basically all pretty bad maps. I also mentioned about Nuketown for Black Ops 4. It's not going to be available at launch, but when it comes out, it's going to be available for everyone. Obviously, I knew Nuketown was coming. It's a staple to the Black Ops series. I would have been shocked if it didn't come to the game. So here are the maps so far. We already have confirmed, like, and they are pretty good maps, especially the four remastered ones. Nuketown's always been a pretty good map, anyways. And the other maps that were played at the Black Ops 4 reveal trailer, they all looked like really good maps. So. The maps out so far that are confirmed, it's going to be Contraband, Seaside, Payload, Frequency, Jungle, Slum, Summit, Fire Range, and Newtown. Those are the maps already confirmed for Black Ops 4, and you really couldn't ask for any other better maps. I mean, to be remastered, you really, really couldn't ask for better maps, except Summit. Maybe I would have liked to see Castle. I'm not really complaining. Summit was a really good map anyways, but Summit was already kind of remastered in uh, Black Ops 3, I think it was? Or Black Ops 2? Listen, dude, like like I've always said, man, 
what I wanted in a Call of Duty game. I just want, to be honest, I don't really care what the setting is. As long as it's got good maps, it's got good streaks, the weapons are good, the game just feels core to Call of Duty. That's it. That's all. That's literally all I care about. Like, really. I just want good maps, good streaks, good guns. You have all three of those, you're going to have a really good Call of Duty game. You're going to have a successful Call of Duty game. And uh, everyone will play it. I mean, I know people are just hating right now just because, you know, Blackout didn't get announced. Or there was no information about the beta, all that kind of stuff. But, guys, honestly, don't even be surprised if Blackout doesn't get revealed at E3 or any of that. I mean, I'm not going to be surprised if it does. I'll be shocked if it does. I do want to know more about Blackout because it does look interesting. But I'm not going to expect information to be coming out about Blackout anytime soon. If anything, it's probably going to come out closer to the reveal of Black Ops 4. Like, that's... I don't know. But the beta, it will be revealed at E3, guys. I'll tell you that right now. Like, it's bound to be revealed at E3. If it's not, if it's not revealed at E3, I don't know what they're thinking. Like, that's probably the one thing... I will be shocked if it's not revealed. But what do you guys think about the new maps that are coming for Black Ops 4 that you guys heard? How do you guys feel about the remastered maps for Black Ops 4? Do you guys like the remastered maps that are coming? This guy is so annoying, bro. Mute. I mean, come on, Slums. The best Call of Duty map, man. Like, Slums is like the best map. But see, now all we got to figure out, we got to figure out what the streaks are going to be in Black Ops 4. That's another thing I'm worried about. I mean, during the reveal trailer of Black Ops 4, we got to see some streaks. But, um, I don't know, man. I want to see more streaks. I want to see streaks that go ham. Like, I would love to see some streaks from Black Ops 2 come to Black Ops 3, uh, Black Ops 4. I almost said Black Ops 3 right there. But, honestly, I'd love to see some old streaks come into Black Ops 4. Like, make, make some, like, Harriers or, like, make a Chopper Gunner. I know they're bringing the AC-130 back because I saw that during the reveal trailer. But, uh, man, I, I don't know, dude. Like, I just can't wait for Black Ops 4. The beta... You know, I can't wait to play the beta. I can't wait to learn more about Blackout. I mean, the maps so far, they seem great for Black Ops 4. I mean, I don't know, bro. The game would have to be complete garbage for it to play bad with those maps. I mean, come on, man. You can't mess up a Call of Duty game that got slums. You just can't. Anyways, those are the nine maps confirmed for Black Ops 4 so far. We're going to have a very good year for maps, guys. I mean, maps are probably one of the core things for a Call of Duty game. If you have a bad map... Most likely, your gameplay experience is going to be pretty bad. Like, for instance, COD World War II, the core gameplay of the game is not so bad. Like, COD World War II gameplay, it's not so bad. Even though I don't really like the movement speed in COD World War II, it's not so bad. But just the maps in that game, my goodness, they're so bad. It just gets me bored, and I get mad. And when I get mad at a game, like, I just don't want to play it anymore. Like, that's just how it is for me. Like, COD World War II, core gameplay-wise, it's pretty good. But the maps in that game... I mean, just forget it. And the streaks in the game, they're so boring. And, uh, yeah, man. Like, you gotta have good streaks. You gotta have good masks. You gotta have good guns. Black Ops 4 seems like it's gonna have all three of those things. And that's, for me, and that, for me, makes a good Call of Duty game. But anyways, let's go wrap the video for today. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please drop a like on it. Rate the video. Subscribe if you guys are new. Share the video with subchannel channel growth. Thank you guys so much once again for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe, guys. It's free. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you guys don't upload. I really appreciate it a lot. Like I said, the nine multiplayer maps have been confirmed. Make sure you guys hit the bell icon for notifications. I'd really appreciate it a lot. Also, if you guys wouldn't mind checkmarking that, uh, that all, I'd really also appreciate that a lot. But anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you guys all later. Peace out, guys.